Alex was a quiet, thoughtful young man who never quite fit into his world. While his friends spent their time playing sports or working out, Alex loved reading novels, sketching, and taking care of his grandmother's garden. His family often teased him for being too soft or sensitive, but his grandmother had always understood him, saying that he had a gentle soul. When she passed away, Alex felt a deep sense of loss, as if the one person who saw him for who he was had left a hole in his heart. One day, while cleaning out his grandmother's old house, he found a tall, antique mirror hidden behind some dusty furniture. It was a beautiful piece, with intricate carvings of flowers and vines along its edges, and it seemed to shimmer in the light. Drawn to it, Alex wiped away the dust, revealing his reflection. He stood there, lost in his own eyes, and whispered, I wish I could be someone who felt like they belonged. Someone who felt, perfect. As he turned away, he felt an unusual warmth from the mirror, but he shrugged it off. Exhausted from the day, he returned to his own apartment and fell asleep, unaware that his life was about to change in a way he never imagined. The next morning, Alex woke up feeling, different. His clothes felt loose, his skin felt softer, and his hair tickled his shoulders. Confused, he stumbled to the bathroom and gasped. Staring back at him was not the young man he had known his whole life, but a beautiful young woman with delicate features, wide eyes, and a gentle expression. His mind raced, this couldn't be real. Yet every movement, every blink confirmed it was true. He was, a girl. In a panic, Alex examined himself in the mirror, heart pounding. Every detail felt alien yet strangely familiar. As he took in this new form, he noticed how calm he felt beneath the shock, as though this change had unlocked something he had always suppressed. Maybe, just maybe, this transformation was the start of becoming who he'd always been. After the initial shock wore off, Alex, now Alice, decided to test the waters. She spent hours researching makeup, styling her hair, and picking out clothes, fumbling but enjoying every moment. Though it felt strange, there was an excitement, a curiosity to see who she could become. As she learned to carry herself with grace and confidence, she began to realize that this new look was not a burden but an opportunity to finally embrace herself. Alice was nervous the first time she stepped outside as her new self. She wore a simple dress, hoping to blend in, but every glance in her direction made her heart race. She had always been shy, preferring to go unnoticed, but something inside her told her to keep going. She was learning that life as a woman came with different challenges, people were often either overly friendly or dismissive, and she felt scrutinized in ways she hadn't as a man. Her friend Lily, who had always accepted her without question, was the first person Alice confided in. Lily listened with wide eyes but immediately hugged her, saying, You're still you, and I'll be here every step of the way. Together, they explored clothes shopping, practicing makeup, and building confidence. With Lily's support, Alice learned to navigate the nuances of womanhood and found joy in expressing herself in ways she'd always held back. Months passed, and Alice felt more at home in her body and her new life. She started a blog, becoming her best self, documenting her journey. At first, it was just a personal outlet, a way to make sense of her emotions and share her challenges. But to her surprise, her words resonated with others. Messages poured in from people who had faced similar feelings of not fitting in, of yearning to find themselves in a world that often demanded conformity. One day, Alice received a message from someone who said her blog had given them the courage to explore their own identity. Alice realized that her journey wasn't just about finding herself, it was about helping others find themselves, too. She poured her heart into her blog, sharing her ups and downs, her joys, and fears. With each post, she felt herself growing, transforming into someone stronger, more confident, and more compassionate. But the journey wasn't without struggles. Alice faced judgment and rejection, particularly from people who couldn't understand her transformation. There were times she felt discouraged, moments when she wondered if she should have stayed as Alex. Yet, with each setback, she reminded herself that the person she was becoming felt more real, more whole than she had ever been. One afternoon, while volunteering at a community event, Alice met Ethan, a kind-hearted artist with a warm smile and a knack for making her laugh. Their conversations felt effortless, and soon they were spending hours talking about life, art, and dreams. 
For the first time, Alice felt seen not for her past or her transformation, but simply for who she was. Ethan quickly became her confidant and biggest supporter, encouraging her to embrace her journey wholeheartedly. He admired her courage and strength, and his acceptance made Alice feel more comfortable in her skin. But even as she fell in love, she feared telling him about her past, worrying that he might see her differently. Yet, when she finally told him, Ethan simply smiled and said, You are who you are today, and that's the person I love. Ethan's love taught Alice that she didn't need to be perfect to be loved, she just needed to be herself. With him by her side, she felt an overwhelming sense of peace, knowing that her journey had brought her not only self-acceptance but also a love she hadn't dared to dream of. As years went by, Alice continued to grow. She became a mentor, helping others who struggled with their identities and guiding them on their journeys. Her blog turned into a community, a place where people could come together to support one another. One day, Alice looked back on the mirror that had changed her life and realized that her transformation wasn't about becoming a perfect girl, it was about embracing her own version of perfection. She knew that her path had been filled with challenges, but each step had brought her closer to the person she was always meant to be. Alice had become a symbol of hope and resilience, proving that true beauty and strength come from accepting ourselves, flaws and all. She was no longer bound by others' expectations or definitions of what it meant to be perfect. She had found herself, and in doing so, had become a beacon for others to find themselves too. As she gazed at her reflection in the old mirror, she whispered a quiet thank you, finally understanding that she didn't need to change a thing about herself to belong. She was, at last, her best self. Years after her transformation, Alice continued her work, inspiring people around the world. She had found her purpose, her love, and, uh, most importantly, herself. In every challenge, in every joy, she saw her journey as a testament to the power of self-acceptance and the beauty of transformation. Alice's blog, Becoming Her Best Self, soon grew into a thriving community. People from all backgrounds shared their stories, reaching out to connect with someone who had experienced transformation. From teens struggling with self-identity to adults questioning long-held beliefs, Alice's blog became a safe space for anyone seeking understanding. To deepen her support for others, Alice organized her first meetup event. She was nervous but determined, knowing how powerful it could be for people to connect in person. She rented a small venue and invited her followers to come and share their stories. The turnout was beyond anything she'd imagined, over a hundred people arrived, some even traveling from different cities just to be there. The event was emotional and empowering. People shared stories of acceptance and rejection, hope and despair, and Alice was touched by the courage each person showed in being vulnerable. She realized that her journey wasn't just about her anymore, it was about creating a community where people could find a sense of belonging. By the end of the night, Alice decided to turn these meetups into an annual event, calling it the journey within. While Alice's journey was filled with triumphs, it also brought new challenges, particularly from those who didn't understand or accept her transformation. She faced hurtful comments, both online and in person, and even lost contact with some family members who couldn't reconcile with her new identity. It hurt deeply, but she was determined not to let others' opinions control her life. One day, while walking through the city, Alice overheard someone whisper, isn't that the girl who used to be a guy? She felt a pang of discomfort, but this time, instead of walking away, she approached them calmly. She introduced herself, explaining her journey and how she was proud of the person she had become. Her openness disarmed them, and by the end of their conversation, they apologized for their judgment, thanking her for sharing her perspective. This moment was a turning point for Alice. She realized that her story could challenge prejudice and ignorance, and from that day on, she became an advocate, speaking at schools, community centers, and even conferences. Her courage inspired many, and slowly, she began to see people around her change, opening their minds and hearts to a new understanding of identity. Alice's work brought her into contact with others who were on similar journeys, each with unique struggles and aspirations. One of them was Jamie, a young artist exploring their identity and unsure of how to share it with the world. Jamie had always admired Alice's courage but felt too shy to reach out until one day, when they met at one of Alice's events. Alice quickly took Jamie under her wing, offering support, advice, and a safe space to express their feelings. 
Their friendship blossomed, and Alice found herself as a mentor, guiding Jamie through the early stages of self-discovery. She shared practical advice on dealing with family, finding allies, and building self-confidence. Together, they organized art workshops and began hosting small gatherings for others exploring their identities. Alice loved watching Jamie's confidence grow and was proud to see them step into their truth. As Alice continued to mentor others like Jamie, she found immense satisfaction in helping others find their paths. These relationships enriched her life, reminding her of the strength found in unity and the impact one person's story could have on another's life. Ethan and Alice's relationship continued to flourish. They spent their days painting, cooking, and planning small adventures together, growing closer as each month passed. But as Alice's work expanded, she began to feel the weight of her responsibilities. Between the blog, the community events, and mentoring, her time was stretched thin, leaving little room for herself or her relationship. One evening, Ethan gently suggested they take a weekend away to escape the busyness and reconnect. They rented a small cabin by a lake, where they spent their days hiking, talking, and enjoying each other's company without the distractions of daily life. On their final night, as they sat by the fire, Ethan looked at her and said, I've watched you grow into someone incredible, someone who has inspired so many people, including me. I'd be honored to continue this journey with you by my side. With tears in her eyes, Alice accepted his proposal. They shared a quiet, intimate wedding in the presence of close friends and family, celebrating their love and commitment. For Alice, this marked a new chapter, a reminder that love was one of the most powerful transformations of all. As her community continued to grow, Alice felt inspired to reach even more people. With Ethan's encouragement, she started a non-profit organization, True You, dedicated to providing resources, support groups, and counseling for those struggling with self-identity and acceptance. She hired a small team who shared her passion, including Jamie, who had grown into a confident advocate and artist in their own right. Through True You, Alice organized nationwide campaigns, visiting schools and creating safe spaces for young people to explore and embrace who they were. The organization offered mentorship, workshops, and outreach programs, changing countless lives. Her mission went global, and Alice began to travel to countries where identity exploration was taboo, sharing her story and offering hope. Despite her accomplishments, Alice stayed grounded, always remembering her roots and the struggles she'd overcome. She made sure True You was a place of empathy and understanding, a legacy that would continue helping people long after her. Years later, Alice revisited her grandmother's house, the place where her journey had begun. The mirror that had changed her life still stood in the attic, a little dustier but just as magical. Looking into its glass, she saw not just a beautiful woman but a person who had loved, transformed, and found purpose. As Alice closed her eyes, she thought about everything she'd accomplished, the people she'd helped, the lives she'd touched, and the community she'd built. She whispered a quiet thank you to her grandmother, the one person who had always seen her potential. In that moment, she realized that her transformation had been more than just about becoming a perfect girl. It had been about becoming herself, someone filled with love, strength, and purpose. She felt peace, knowing her journey was one of love and acceptance, and she smiled at her reflection, a final act of gratitude for the incredible life she had lived. Alice's impact endured through the lives of everyone she'd touched. True You continued to grow, becoming a pillar of support for those on their own journeys of self-discovery. Jamie took over the organization, carrying Alice's vision forward, and every year, they held the journey within event, honoring Alice's memory and her tireless work to make the world a more accepting place. Alice's legacy was not just in her accomplishments, but in the hope she instilled in others. She had shown that embracing one's true self could change not only an individual life, but also the lives of everyone around them. As her story was shared over the years, she became a symbol of resilience, compassion, and the power of transformation. Alice had shown the world that being perfect wasn't about fitting a mold, it was about finding joy in one's authenticity.